Hey guys, in the previous video, I showed you how you can create a custom form using Wix Velo and submit the entries of this form uh, to a Wix database while also verifying that these submissions are not coming from a bot by using Wix CAPTCHA verification. Uh, sorry, Google CAPTCHA verification. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use the data from this submitted uh, form to create a contact in your Wix CRM so the first name last name email and phone number we're gonna push it uh, to the Wix CRM so that you can communicate with this user or uh, person who submitted their details via this custom form uh, via your Wix CRM for this we're gonna use the create contact function of Wix CRM backend so let's go ahead and get started now I'm also going to show you how you can use data hooks so data hooks are something that are related to databases uh, they can be triggered when a new submission comes through um, and a couple of more scenarios so first of all let's create a data hook for this database so this is the database where all your submissions go to click on these three dots over here click on add remove hooks and click on after insert hook so this is the hook that will run after an item has been inserted into your uh, database so let's go ahead and uh, input this function on the top from Wix CRM backend and uh, let's see what this function says so this is the function that is used to create a new contact in your Wix CRM we're just gonna go over this function in a second I'm just making sure the indentation is correct okay actually this is the first time I'm working with this function as well so bear with me so this is the contact info name first last you can see the first and last name is already pre-filled over here but we want it to be dynamic we want it to be what the user had submitted so if you see uh, between the curly brackets over here there's this object called item this contains all the data that has come through into your database so item dot and what's the code uh, sorry ID it is first name as you can see over here so first name and then the last name is item dot and look at the uh, left hand side uh, you can see the ID in the database is last name with the capital N all right but we also have email and phone number so let's go ahead and click on contact info let's see where we can send the email so email is an array and it is called emails so let's click uh, let's give a comma emails and then we just have one email so item dot email and that should that should do the okay no actually it is it is an array object so hmm, okay let's email primary true let's set the primary to true primary true email is equal to item dot email and then tag well, let's see if the tag works or not and let's say it's main okay let's see tag I mean I'm skeptical that this will work because half of the time uh, these uh, half of the functions that Wix releases don't work but let's see if the tag uh, tag object tag key and value works and it actually gets saved in the CRM okay phones is an array of objects as well so phones and then an object inside it and then phone primary true let's set the primary to be true again and then phone which will be check the left side it is phone number um, tag let's let's give a tag of mobile tag of mobile 
by the way I hope you guys are enjoying the new microphone the sound is pretty pretty good compared to all my previous videos I finally got a new microphone um, okay and then options so what does the options do let's see options let's close this contact info options allow duplicates no okay yeah so uh, allow duplicates false okay suppress odd permission check so we're not gonna dive what kind of permission checks are there we're just gonna suppress it over here and create the contact uh, only visitors with manage contact permissions can create contacts yeah so probably you're gonna you have to use this and plus this is uh, coming from a data hook on the back end so that's fine contacts create we don't want it to return uh, we just we just want it to let's say console log the contact if it is created but this console log happens on the back end so you're gonna say how are we gonna see that so you go over here left hand side developer tools logs and under logs you go on view side events and this is where you can see all the console logs that occur on your backend I think we're good over here this is how you insert something into your CRM let's go ahead and refresh the page and send something to the CRM so let's say Johnny Silverhand uh, oh, did you play cyberpunk by the way that was that was a good game got a lot of hate because of how it was launched and the condition it was launched in but it's a pretty solid game I really love Keanu Reeves character of Johnny Silverhand probably gonna play it again uh, once I get a PS5 I don't have a PS5 right now still on the PS4 Pro but let's go ahead and submit it and you can see that the submission has gone through alright so this means that the submission went through but it doesn't mean that your uh, contact was created in the CRM because uh, uh, the data hook operates independently so once the form is submitted or the data has entered into the database the data hook is called after that so it is a possibility there that there might be errors post submission or post item creation into your database and I think uh, this contact would not have been created in the CRM because yep uh, we left out suppress auth uh, we did not set it to be true so we're gonna have to go and do this one more time so let's use the same name but uh, different email address Start com. all right now let's go ahead and refresh the contact list over here to see if our contact was created and you can see the contact has been created so Johnny Silverhand and uh, there's the phone number and the email and now you can just communicate with this user using your inbuilt Wix CRM now this is a this is a functionality that is readily available if you use Wix forms, but you need to pay for Wix forms. If you use a form like this, you don't need to pay for it. It uses CAPTCHA, which means it will disallow bot submission, a quite uh, safe sort of. And uh, you can create a uh, contact in your Wix CRM. You can actually, you can if you go to the API you can use uh, you can uh, accept much more data from the user collect much more data from the user so this is how you create a contact on your Wix CRM using the Wix CRM backend API and a custom form see you in the next video guys